part B, the commentary. Wow. So this store is what in the Bronx, a what family dollar in the Bronx. They walked in with their own basket, that utility cart there. And then I can kind of see if you're going to buy some more items. And the idea is to go ahead and purchase the items if you're not a thief. But to purchase the items, then put them in the plastic bags and put them in your cart and walk home. That I can kind of get. Talk about determination. Here's a part. So here they've got, you can see, I guess, some detergent. And they're scuffling over the bag. And I guess she's calling for her man because she's like, hey, you know, we got some little resistance here. This is a part I found overwhelming. And the fact that the, look at this. When she put, <coughs> when she basically put that back in her arms around the employee, she's not playing with you. She's desperate. Engaged in a physical altercation. She's not playing with you. Both of them, they are desperate. And, and it's not worth it. And see, here's the thing. It's, it's not going to get any better. It's going to get worse. Because don't forget. They already said that this time around, well, what's, what's going on? Should the market has come back up? I've noticed a couple of gains. Yay. Hope it keeps on coming. But it's going to get worse. You have a lot of white collar people that are going to be affected. I mentioned, I think, before in another video, how look at Facebook. All those engineers, tech companies, cut, 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 cut. Oh, I got a job offer. I'm going to be moving to Silicon Valley. Uh, no, you're not, not, not. Why? They rescinded the job offers. So, if that's happening to tech, you don't think it's going to trickle on down? It will. So, it's going to get worse. If it's like this now... It's not going to get any better. They are expecting cuts and layoffs to the end of the year, extending into the first quarter of 2023. And no, the Americans, the majority, are not prepared. Some are. Congratulations. Most are not. So this is going to get worse. And some people would say, oh, well, you know, listen, the employee, which I agree, shouldn't have done that. They really, really shouldn't have done it. I wouldn't be fighting over it. But here's something that the assistant manager probably realizes that most people hadn't occurred to them and of course it's my opinion that person is fighting more for them they're stealing from the store that person i think is fighting for their job yeah they're fighting for their job well they got insurance well they can just go ahead i would just let them go yep and the assistant manager probably knows a little more about business than maybe most i get it because, you know, maybe thinking that realm, we don't, have to, we don't have to deal with this every day. But she's in retail. So you already know what happens. when, If that's the case, they get away with that. Then the word will get out, oh, guess what? It's a no-win here. The word will get out, oh, guess what? You can go in that store. We just walked in and walked right on out. Before you know it, end of the month, you may have 50 people to do just the same thing. Walk on in and walk right on out because the word gets out. Oh, I show you how it's gonna, they ain't going to do nothing. That's how ignorant people are. They ain't going to do nothing. I'm going to walk I was right up in and got what I wanted. Tay Tay did it. Becky did it. Maria did it. Lulu did it. Really? And so before you know it, you might as well just have an open store and they can walk on in and walk right on out. And guess what's going to happen? The store going to move on out because it is not cost efficient. It's a loss. It's a write down. Only an idiot will keep on operating a business unless you've got other things elsewhere. But no one's going to keep a business open and it's not productive. They didn't open it up to go ahead and hook you up. It's not a freebie. Government cheese might be free. Guess what? Life not. Neither is this family dollar store. So, yeah. Why would she do that? She's fighting for her job. She knows if they keep on doing this, and they're allowed to look the other way. Everybody and her grandmother being a bust up in that store just shopping with the five finger discount. And before you know it, the store will close down. When the store is closing down, guess what? Her job is over. So she's is more than just fighting for the store. I think she's fighting for her job. Like, uh-uh, we can't have this. Because they know what will happen. Hello, all these Starbucks, Target, Whole Foods.
she's fighting more than the pot for the for those products. It's a bigger picture. She's trying to keep the store open. And a lot of our people don't seem to understand it. Again, all these Target, Whole Foods, how many have moved out? Then you want we got a food desert. No kidding, you think? Unbelievable. The ignorance among us. So things like this here keep on happening. Then you look up, the store just closed down. You saw how all this did. Even though the councilman was telling yo, yo, leash ain't up. Yo, leash ain't up. They're like, man, we don't give a what. We're getting the hell up out of here. We're getting up out of here. Money moves. It don't wait around. It moves. Why? They have options. They can. So this right here, a couple stealing. And the woman... I mean, she put her arms like a purse around that lady, around the lady's neck, like a bear hug. I guess to the, uh, I think they said she ch tried to choke her or something. All of a sudden, she's in the church, but you notice she got a man. <laughs> she got a man. What good is he? He going with you to look at this, and then you think about it. They get caught if they do catch him. Was it worth it? Be locked up over some detergent and some sheets. But this is what happens. This is what happens. Our people don't listen. Can't tell them, Jack. Can't tell them nothing. I noticed real quick there was a, um, it was a young black man. Uh, he just, you know, regular clothing and all that. He lives in New York. I don't even think he has a car. Okay? Doesn't have a vehicle. Doesn't live fan, And, of course, New York is expensive. Looks like he might be worth a couple of million dollars. What does he do? Keep a low key. Not hanging out. You would think he's just, you know, scraping by. Just scraping by. So the black woman do the same thing. She just had, you know, her place is really, really nice. And I thought about it. That's the that's that's how a lot of, that's how a lot of people move around. You think they don't have nothing? That's what you think. But see, this is what happens when you're not. Our people don't want to listen sometimes, and let alone be financially savvy. If we got money for Thanksgiving and Christmas and New Year's. Pop some bottles. We got money for birthdays. And we got money for J's. You have money to learn. You have time money to learn how to invest. This doesn't have to be. When I said baby daddy dollars, dumb. It, it is dumb. If you are, let's let's say she can get a job, okay? And he might be a felonious character and he can't. Can somebody get a job, okay? Now, in most cases... Black women holding it down. They got a man that's not. Why the hell is he not sitting up here learning how to invest? Why he can't get a side hustle or get a side job, start a business? Well, he can't get a job. You can start a business. People be buying you stuff online and flipping it. You don't even have to leave your house. I told you about the website. What is that? Shopgoodwill.com. Don't even have to leave your house. They can ship it to you. Take pictures, upload it. All these different sites. Well, he don't want to do that. Then he can be outside homeless up under that bridge. Try that. You can sell books. There's money in the book business. Well, he don't want to do that. Again, he can be outside homeless. He can learn how to trade. You're already paying to house them and feeding them. You're clothing them. But see, we don't want to do that. He's lazy. And a woman is lazy too. That's why she chose a lazy man. Barbara the Builder doesn't work out. Get you all stressed out. It's things like that. Our people don't want to hear it. But they'll just sit up there 
on one income and have some cheering and talk about Zaddy, but can't live without Zaddy because the decisions that they made, they don't want to listen to a different point of view. And then before you know it, life is out of control. It's hard enough, but life gets out of control. And what do you do? Now you're getting desperate. Can't bail. It's always some. It's always some drama in in Blackistan. You t- when you take a chance in Blackistan to bail, you're taking a chance with your life because you either gonna get robbed or you might get killed. This here, I feel for the store ass- assistant manager, and she dealt with that. Then get to go home and get a rest. That is terrifying. Keep on working. Pop, Pop has a family, so she's fighting more for. Well, she should just let that go. I understand, and I said, don't fight with them. But the woman, in my opinion, is more than the store. Oh, it's more than that. She's fighting for her job. She's fighting for her survival. Because she knows if this continues, that it's going to go ahead and shut this store down. If they keep robbing, like I said, the lady, I didn't believe her. I'm like, I'm thinking like, you got to be kidding me. The theft outweighed the profits. They're not going to keep on operating a loss. They don't care about, well, me more down the street. They don't care. So it's going to get worse. And things like this here, detergent, sheets, desperate. What's the saying? He or she who plans to fail, who fails to plan. He or she who fails to plan, you plan to fail. Plans don't always work out. I put my plan plan down. And it worked out. Change my way of living. Change my standard of living temporarily. Well, not, yeah, f- five years. Still got that little place. Change my standard of living. And sometimes I go back and forth. Did it for five years. Yeah. You can do it, but you have to make that sacrifice. Did it for five years and left with six figures and I'm out. This makes no sense.